Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Rob, and today is a Traeger Day. And today we are making potato bombs. And this was featured on the Barbecue Pit Boys. And so uh, we modified it a little bit. We made a very smaller batch, just two potatoes, and we just used a ham as a filler. So I wanted to let you know, in the Traeger, we set the Traeger at 350 degrees, and I recommend you actually do that a little higher. Uh, the only uh, thing we noticed was when we did the bacon, which you'll see in a moment, uh, could have been cooked a little more, but it was still really good. <laughs> anyway. So I would suggest you run your Traeger at full temperature and cook for about an hour. Uh, first you go a half hour, turn the potatoes over, and then cook them again for another half hour and and then pull them in and <laughs> indulge. It was really good. So enjoy and this is how we made our potato bomb. Well the first thing we had to do is grab our little potatoes here and wash them up really good and get them nice and clean. So I ran over to Bed and Bath and bought this little um, device to put holes through the middle of these potatoes and it worked really good. Uh, this was my first one, needed to practice a little bit, but it uh, came out pretty good. I had to go kind of bore from both sides and one time I was a little bit off a little bit, but over time you can see I got the ends out. So uh, uh, the second one, it went a little bit smoother and you want to hold on to those ends because you need them as corks to hold your goodies inside of them so yeah so right after this we're going to have to start making our fixings to go in the inside so i took a little butter and i took a little bit of cheese and then i have a little bit of ham cheap ham i paid 89 cents for this and then uh, a little cream cheese and then we're going to put some onions in there, green onions. And yep, got to have bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. So here I'm just cleaning up my green onions and getting them ready to use for my fixings and my stuffing. Here I'm just cutting the ends off of my onions, get ready to go into my little batch of uh, stuff to go inside. And then it's time to start putting things together. I started off with a little bit of mayonnaise. Then I put cream cheese in there. Then some butter. Yeah, I've got to have butter. And uh, right after that, we added my onions in. So, yep, and, uh, I want it to be nice and oniony. And of course, you cannot do this without bacon bits. Lots of bacon bits. We'll be using bacon bits a lot in this recipe. So, it's time to mix this all up. This is for the inside of my potato. So we get a, uh, this little thing it will look kind of messy, but like I said, it's just going in the inside of the potato. So we got them all mixed up real good. Now it's time to create my stuffing. So I thought I'd be scientific and take some ham, then some of my fantex, you know, little fantastic mix here, and uh, put that in. And I, I was being very scientific, but as I was going, uh, and of course I've added some cheese. And uh, yeah, I gotta have more cheese. And then uh, I thought I'd, uh, oh yeah, bacon bits. Gotta put some more bacon bits in. Can't have enough bacon bits. Now the problem is here, this was getting about as big as a taco. And so my idea was, well, let's put something on the top to kind of keep it together. Let's roll this puppy up and see if I can get it inside my potato. And there seems to be a technical difficulty. Uh, so I cut it in half. So I start trying to plug that back into the hole again. And that's my uh, end of my potato there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so I start stuffing and it's getting kind of ugly. And so I realized real quick that you just got to dive in and just get involved and it looks terrible and you just shove it on in there. And it wasn't scientific at all, but I was getting my yummies in there. And of course my wife, she's over on the other side being very petite and actually doing the corkscrew kind of effect to get that stuff in. She puts hers together and it comes out pretty nice as mine was, I don't know, kind of messy, but yeah, it worked. 
Now it's time for bacon wrap. So I grab one bacon, realize uh, these uh, are not enough. So what am I gonna do? Get more bacon, you betcha. So yeah, we wrap this thing with two pieces of bacon and uh, kind of put them on kind of snug. Doesn't have to look too pretty. And uh, remember, you're gonna have tin foil around this to kind of hold all this together. And I put my favorite seasoning on there. This is for poultry and uh, uh, and pork. And so uh, just spread it on there. And what we're trying to do is just give our outside of our potato lots of flavor between the bacon and the seasoning. Going to be good stuff. And then my wife, who has a much prettier potato than I do, it started seasoning hers too. And so we just get these all seasoned up and we're about ready to get these things all wrapped up. So now it's Christmas time. It's time to wrap these little packages up in tin foil. So just fold them over once, get it kind of tight. Then you want to fold your edges. Here, wait until she gets a little turn in here. She's going to fold the edges. And then fold the other side. And then continue to roll it the rest of the way. Until you got a pretty little package. And of course, Sherry's is always prettier than mine. So here's my attempt. I decided to center it, lay it on over. I thought it was coming out kind of pretty. And fold my edges, <clears throat> fold my other edge. Get this looking nice because I don't want my wife doing a better job than me. And I roll this puppy up real good. And I got the bigger potato. And then kind of cinch in the ends there and we're ready to go. Now it's time to fire up the trigger and get it warmed up first. And we just turn it on and get it the smoke setting first. Then we turn it up to 350. And I kind of recommend in the future to go up to 400. Then we add our potatoes in and head back to the kitchen to make some dip. So I started off with mayonnaise and then I'm adding cream cheese. And then I'm going to add some cheese to this. And it's a similar to what I put inside the potatoes already. Uh, although, of course, you got more bacon bits. And, of course, we uh, add some butter uh, in this. <laughs> Can't have enough butter. And, of course, we got to cut up some more onions. So we get some onions in this. We're going to add that to the dip right here. And then it's time to stir this together. And this is what we're going to use as our dip when the potatoes are done. And it came out really good. It was really yummy. So just make a batch of this so you set it on the dining room table. Oh yeah, more bacon bits. Do not forget bacon bits. So we get this all stirred up once again. And it's time to turn the potatoes. It's been a half hour, so we just turn them over once. Turn them over again for another hour or two on well, that too just a little bit over an hour then when they're done we pull these babies out and they're definitely hot and I did test kind of before to see if they were done and they're definitely done so then we kind of unpeel these things hot, hot, hot. it's got hot <laughs> it's definitely hot and we get these out and by golly there they are the bacon was still okay it was cooked but not as crispy as i would have liked it so that's why we use a higher temperature in the future so once we got these out we grab the great big knife we cut them right in half piece of cake do the other one here cut this one right in half and oh my god it looks so good so here's a closer picture so you can see what they look like after they're cut and they're ready to go to the table and get your dip. Put them on the dining room table. You're ready to go. Yum. Hey, thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and Traeger Day. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. See you next time when we're cooking. Bye.